God of War PC version comes out in like an hour as of the time of recording this, and I'm very excited. However, this is your friendly reminder to update your drivers. Uh, AMD drivers are offering up to, it looks like, 7% increase in performance, depending on which GPU you might have. And then the new NVIDIA drivers are also out as well. I forget where I put the, the link, but yeah, new NVIDIA drivers out as well with some optimizations for God of War. I've already done a system requirements video on this, but expect me to get my benchmark videos out here today and tomorrow. Uh, later uh, today, I should ha have out um, at least one video, probably my GTX 1060 first. I'll also test out a 6800 XT and my RX 6600 in this game. So stay tuned if you're interested in the results. Anyway, a few other bits of news. It's looking like the 3070 Ti 16GB version is real, although it's still not like completely confirmed. What we're seeing here is that two different board partner companies, both Gigabyte and Asus, have filed uh, some filings with the uh, Eurasian Economic Commission uh, can, uh, for some SKUs based on this card, a 3070 Ti with 16 gigabytes. We can see those uh, leaks kind of right here, and it's very cl uh, clear that they are listed as 16 gigabyte cards. So I'm pretty sure this is a real thing, although sometimes models get listed, because we've actually, this is not the first time we've seen this. We've already seen 3070 Ti models listed with this commission. However, sometimes plans change, but product launches get canceled, and so we don't see them anymore. That's what we thought might have happened with this 3070 Ti when we didn't see it announced in January. Same thing we thought about the 3080 12 gigabyte model, but then that 3080 12 gigabyte model did end up being real and was kind of stealth launched, no reviews. Uh, it's an excuse to just push up the sell price of the base model, all of that. <laughs> um, anyway, so the point is, um, it would not at all surprise me if this also happens for the 3070 Ti, uh, kind of stealth launching a 16 gigabyte model. Now my thoughts on that are basically the same as my thoughts on a 3080 uh, 12 gigabyte version, which is, it's great that it should have had a, a larger amount of VRAM in the first place. A card with the actual ca uh, performance capability of a 3070 Ti being stuck with a tiny eight gigabytes of VRAM for a card that on the actual market generally costs a thousand dollars or more was just laughable. It was stupid. And sure, if you're at 1080p, eight gigabytes is mostly fine. And at 1440p, it's even mostly fine. But the 3070 Ti class GPU is going to be very relevant for years to come. And we always do see VRAM requirements, at least at the top end settings, climb and climb and climb and climb. So so it, I don't think it'll be very long before eight gigabytes is struggling at 1440p, let alone if you're trying to do anything at 4K, although 3070 Ti class at 4K in a few years might be questionable anyway with DLSS. I mean, it's hard to say. The point is the card maybe doesn't really need 16 gigabytes, but it definitely needed more than eight. So I'm happy to see it get that. But what I'm expecting to see if these are, again, if these are real, is for it to cost a lot more. So this is also a way for Nvidia to stealthily increase the cost of these cards. Um, so to in further increase their profit margins because the MSRPs that they actually launched their cards at were kind of silly. The TI models were designed to increase that MSRP, but there wasn't a lot of room in between the 3070 and the 3080. So the 3070 TI didn't get its MSRP, which is kind of meaningless anyway, bumped up quite as high as like the 3080 got bumped up with the 3080 Ti. But now that they're bumping up the 3080 by stealthily, uh, you know, increasing the price of the 12 gigabyte model, we're now, I think, gonna, uh, I wouldn't at all be surprised to see this is real and the 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte model is designed to then uh, further increase the, uh, the profit margins on these cards as well. Again, that being said, it will be a better and more relevant card, but I just hate to see what's really going on with the prices here. Also keep in mind that just like with the 3080 12 gigabyte needing a slightly higher power draw due to the uh, increased memory, we would probably also expect to see the 3070 Ti need some more energy to support the doubled VRAM because you still need to feed energy to those uh, VRAM chips. Anyway, so like for me, this is a mixed bag. I I'm happy to see more VRAM on the card if this is real, but I'm not happy to see just more excuses to increase prices. 
Eh. Uh, now, do I think it's real? Well, I mean, I think there's at least plans for it. Whether it actually gets launched is another question. There you go. And that's similar to um, this, a 3060 Ti also coming out, but a new version of it. Now, the 3060 Ti, if MSRP prices were real, is in my opinion, like the best card in Nvidia's whole Ampere lineup because the performance is very close to a 3070, but with a lower price tag, of course, in the actual market, these are incredibly difficult to find. It, if you uh, listen to uh, the, the information you get out of board partners and, and actual stores, many of them say that they almost never even see 3060 Ti's because the GPU chip that goes into the 3060 Ti, they'd rather put into higher profit margin cards, right? So if, if, if it's a good enough chip to put into a more expensive card, they're gonna, I, I keep seeing my hair, this little curl will not go. I film these like right after I get up and get my girls off to preschool and I have like 15 minutes before I leave for work. So anyway, sometimes look at my camera. Anyway, I don't wanna waste your time. <laughs> anyway, the point is, um, if they shift the, uh, the 3060 Ti to a different GPU itself, the actual chip, they might actually then be able to uh, pr uh, allocate more stuff to that without cutting into their profit margins in quite the same way. So the rumor here is that we're gonna see a, um, a GA103 GPU uh, on the 3060 Ti. So what does that actually mean? So, so uh, Nvidia has a, a comparison here. So the normal 3060 Ti is based on the GA104 GPU. Right, uh, and then the, that's the same one that the 3070 is based on, okay? So it's like a GA104 GPU could go into a 3070 and then they charge more and make more money. So that's what they're doing as long as it was produced well enough to be able to do that. By shifting to the GA103, it's a different GPU now than the 3070. However, that would mean it would have to be an extremely cut down GA103. Now, uh, Video Card just recently updated this article saying that uh, Copite 7 Kimi um, has talked about this and does say it is gonna feature a GA103 200 GPU um, and would feature the same specs as the GA104. Now, this is really interesting to me because that, it's weird because the GA103, um, would mean that this would be like a 60% 60, 60 cut down. So like these would be like really cut down GA103. So maybe these are like really bad GA103 chips. I don't know guys, this one's a little bit weird to me, but I will say that Copite, uh, Copite 7 Kimi, um, I follow GPU leaks and Copite is usually right. Even if the product doesn't actually launch, it was usually a planned product that Copite is, is leaking. So Copite is a very good source for this type of information. So anyway, that's interesting. If it ends up meaning we get more 3060 Ti's, great. Um, cost, question mark, who knows? It seems like I said that Nvidia is trying to kind of shift up their, their product stack even further in the pricing department. Anyway, um, now this next rumor I am a little bit uh, well, I, you know, I'll go to something I'm a little bit more sure about and then something else. Okay, so it also is looking like um, we're seeing that the DDR5 memory overclocking profiles that AMD is going to go with, it's looking like we, we now see that the name for that, the branding on that will be RAMP. So like that goes up against, right, Intel has their XMP profiles. Well, it's looking like AMD will call their, their DDR5 profiles RAMP. I don't think we have a lot of actual information about this yet. It's just a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, the naming scheme is getting out there. So interesting, we'll see how it goes. I really hope that by the time we get our new AMD uh, platforms, uh, AM5 socket with DDR5 memory, that DDR5 memory is hopefully more available and cheaper. Otherwise that could put a, a damper on the, uh, the excitement for these chips if you're having to way overpay for memory, but it's coming a lot later. So hopefully that problem will be solved. Last thing I wanted to say is this is the one that I'm very much not sure what to make of it. Um, but a uh, ch uh, Chinese leak, um, this apparently translates as enthusiastic citizen from Billy Billy. Uh, and chip hell. So this is a known leaker from from that uh, you know that side of the world that I'm less familiar with, uh, is apparently claiming that we're going to see some 4000 series desktop Ryzen's based on the Renoir uh, uh, chips. Um, 
to compete with the low end coming from Intel. Because the thing is that AMD has been enjoying with their Zen 3 5000 series processors a clear win over, and over, over Intel for a, quite a while now. But with Intel finally getting their 12th gen Alder Lake out, at the low end at least, we're seeing chips like the 12400, which sells for $180, able to compete with like a 5600X from AMD that costs $300. I mean, sometimes you can get better deals than that, but you'll never see it as low as 180, at least we haven't. So um, the idea here is that they'd be looking to release some lower end chips based on the Zen 2 Renoir uh, APU silicon, but with the integrated GPU disabled. And then that would allow them to get some chips out there at, at a lower end and I believe lower prices to compete with this. Now, I don't know what to make of this source. So uh, I'm not gonna go out there and say that I think this is happening, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if AMD has some kind of plan to kind of be a stopgap, more competition somehow at the lower end. I wish we'd just see lower prices on like the 5600X. Uh, but maybe there's manufacturing cost reasons why they just can't do that, but they could do something else. I'm very curious. All right, stick around and later today, I should have some benchmark videos out for God of War and even more coming out tomorrow. So between today and tomorrow, you should see a 1060 RX 6800 XT and RX 6600 benchmarked in God of War. Hope all of you have an excellent day. Wait, wait, I clicked the wrong button. End recording. <laughs>